Hi, welcome to Chris Jenkins Golf Academy here at Cronin's Golf Centre in Essex. Today, we're gonna to talk about holding these short three foot putts. They can make your knees quake a little bit, but with these two tips, then you're gonna make sure that you give yourself the best chance of getting them in the hole. On the tour, there's probably around 96, 97% chance of them holding these putts. They will miss a few, but generally they're gonna get these in the hole. It goes down quite dramatically the further they get away from the hole. For example, from eight foot, there's only 50% chance of a hole in the putt. But these short ones, we really want to try and make sure we get them in. Imagine you've just played a nice, nice shot up to the hole, chipped it from the edge of the green, you chipped it to the three foot, hold it, you made a great up and down. So there's a couple of things that you're going to be, we're going to be doing today. Um, the first one is that on the golf ball, there's generally a line. The writing and the wording on the ball creates a nice straight line. You can actually draw a nice straight line on the ball as well. If it's a straight putt, you can do it on a breaking putt, but specifically, specifically if it's a straight putt, we're gonna try and make sure that we line the ball up, line the line up towards the hole, because it helps us to, to see the line that we're gonna hit the ball. When you're over the ball, it's not quite as easy to see it sometimes, so having the line on there can really, really help. So the first thing I would do, I'm gonna mark the ball, I'm gonna put a mark behind the ball, I'm gonna find the line, and I'm gonna line it up with the hole. Okay, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'll check it, I'll double check it by getting behind to make sure that it's in a straight line. That's the best way to see that, best place to see that. It's very difficult to see that from the side. And then I'll pick the marker up. Okay, and the second thing that we're gonna do is called hit and hark. And you may have seen tour players do this. Tiger Woods has done it in the past very, very well. Uh, one of the greats, Nick Faldo, used to do it all the time from these short putts. You never used to see him looking up at the hole too quickly. And what I mean by that is that and one of the biggest reasons for, for, for these sort of putts being missed is that players will get over the ball and then as they hit the ball, they, they're looking to see where it goes. And as they look to see if it goes in the hole, the body turns and it can close a club face and then they can then try and steer the putt. And then you open the club face, it's quite difficult to keep the putter on line. And you know, it's such a short shot, such a short shot in golf putting that these three foot putts, that we can be as precise as we possibly can. And, to do that, we need to try and keep our head as still as we possibly can. All right, so hit and hark means that when we hit the putt, we listen for the ball to go in the hole. So we hit the putt, we stay there, and we hear the ball go in the hole, and then we can pick it out once it's in. Okay, so great tip is that rather than looking at the, the ball when we're putting, we're going to try and focus on a spot which is in between the putter face and the back of the ball. So we're looking at the grass in between the putter face and the back of the ball. And I've just put a coin there just to make it easy while I'm practicing this. And so we put the putter just that little bit further away from the back of the ball. And we set ourselves up into a, a, a good putting position. Remember we try to get the ball slightly forward in the start, slightly to the left in the stance. If you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, slightly right in the stance. And when we putt, we try and get our face flat, so we're looking down at the, at the coin or the, the bit of grass in between the, the ball and the hole. And then we hit the putt. And we stay down. I've heard it go in the hole. I didn't have to look. I can pick it up and walk on to the next tee. If you like that tip, don't forget to subscribe. Tap the bell notification to get further tips. And don't forget to go onto my website, chrisjenkinsgolf.com, further options on coaching. Enjoy your golf.